ladies, gentlemen, and Haradrim of all ages, it is one of those days. Blizzard, in all their good graces, gave us a new mechanic for Diablo 4, a lovely new mechanic, a quaint little thing that is a massive quality of life improvement, pets that follow you around and pick up everything that you would want to be automatically grabbed. Things like gold, infernal cinders from Helltide, crafting materials, basically any drop that happens in the game that isn't a direct item, a piece of equipment, will go into your inventory. Anything that's a currency, a material, doesn't matter. They grab it for you automatically. And they do it at essentially a screen wide range as well so that you never really have to stop again for any of these types of things once you have your pet on. And honestly, this is genuinely very, very good. It is extremely appreciated and the way that it's intended to work is something that I'm proud of them for just giving to players for free and as suddenly as they have, which I do also say knowing that if they made pets an expansion only thing, there would have been massive outrage. So why did I start with the tone that I did? Because it feels like Blizzard can't put anything into this game without fundamentally breaking a part of it in some way, as this pet system has its own bug, and it's a pretty reasonably big one. Is it ruining the game? No, not by any means. In fact, for a number of builds, it is actually causing a power increase, but there are some where it is genuinely making them much worse. So what's going on with the pet then? Well, the best way to explain it is think of the pet as if it is the construct from season three, the actual seasonal mechanic, but without any attack skills put into it. It seems to function nearly exactly like that, including that it counts as a minion. Yes, you heard that right. It counts as a minion, it counts as a companion for druid as well, but not as a conjuration for sorcerer. Sorry, sorcerer. What this means is there are a number of skills, aspects, paragon nodes, and glyphs that are either boosted or ruined by this, giving you plus one minion to your minion count. There are both positives and negatives, depending on your build for these classes. For Necromancer, this means anyone that is running a sacrifice-based build, one based on not having minions, things similar to prior seasons, where you would just go full minionless to power up your player, you physically can't accomplish that properly now, as it just breaks things like the Sacrificial Glyph by always having at least one minion active, or the standalone passive skill that gives you damage reduction that scales downwards with the number of minions that you have active. So literally in those builds, it just makes you take 2% more damage because you have this pet, which is sort of crazy, really. That's honestly all the negatives though, really. So let's talk about all the things that this inadvertently buffs. Staying on Necromancer, we have Supernatural Sever as an enhancement. The pets count as an extra 2% damage multiplier from this, which is a lot more than it might sound for just a passive gain out of nowhere. It counts for the Corporeal Paragon Glyph for an extra 1% movement speed, which is, you know, nice, I guess. And it even counts for the Requiem aspect for anyone who actually uses resource spenders actively in Season 4 on Necro. It affects the unique effect of the Death Speaker's Pendant as well, probably the coolest version of this, literally letting you cast Blood Novas off of your pet dog when you use Blood Surge. I mean, come on, it's basically fighting for you at this point. And theoretically, it also affects the Holy Bolt's Elixir bug that Necro has had going on for it for ages, as while we still don't fully understand how that bug works in every way, we do know that it does more damage the more minions that you have, which this does count for. And there's also the key passive, Kalen's Edict for Necro, which has a hard one to actually properly confirm whether it works or not, but theoretically, based on the wording of it and the wording of all these other things, it should in fact also be giving you bonuses based on the bug. Past that, Druid also has their own effects by this because minions and companions seem to share the same sort of ticker, the same tag to actually make this count, which most importantly, and pretty much only, affects the Shepherd's aspect, which gives you a 15% bonus damage multiplier to core and wrath skills per active companion. And because the pet counts as a companion, it just gives you a whole ass 15% bonus damage from just having a dog. And well, the druid was in a rough spot, so as far as I'm concerned, let this one stick. This is honestly the only way that affects druid as well. This druid doesn't normally scale off of the number of companions they have, so much as just trying to make the companions themselves stronger. But this one specific interaction, this one legendary aspect overlap is by itself a 15% multiplier, which is like more than a lot of what Necro gets, even though it affects a lot of things for them. And it's more than most Paragon glyphs are even worth in their entirety for Druid. And it is just the result of this bug here. So basically this is just a roundup that honestly, the pets are really genuinely good at their intended purpose. There is a free one for everyone. They pick up all types of currencies and materials automatically from like a screen away. Like it's nothing. It makes the game feel so much nicer to just 
plow through enemies on, but we can never have anything good happen without it also resulting in some sort of new bug somehow, and that's a problem. This time around, resulting in nerfs to some necro builds, buffs to some others. I mean, hey, necro has now cleared a tier 144 pit run before the pets were added to the game, so I'd expect this bug to make them shoot up even higher in solo pit tier completions, and also the pretty notable buff to druid builds as well that use core or wrath skills, especially things like tornado and hurricane, which were already pretty strong builds that are now just 15% stronger straight up. Should this be fixed then? Yes. Undoubtedly, really. Unintended buffs are cool to have for the moment, but I would much rather that they fix this bug and then give us some actual proper buffs where they're supposed to be, where they should be needed. Instead, it's just simple as that. I hope you've enjoyed checking us out then. Honestly, it's just sort of worrying to me that only a year into a theoretically long-term live service game, every single patch seems to be breaking something in a non-minor way. Like if this is some sort of spaghetti code that we're already working off of, how much worse is this going to go as we keep building on top of it and how quickly, but hopefully that will just be an unfounded worry. Only time will tell really. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice, to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.